The right to life is unqualified. Everybody has a right to life. Some people are convicted because they do not have a lawyer. They cannot put their case before the court. And the knowledge that there are people who could be on the death row without having to do it. I think when I started to know about these things from studying the criminal justice delivery system, it crossed my mind to say, you know what, this could be wrong. Somebody could be getting punished for something he did not do. In the countries that practice the death penalty, rich and poor, cultivated and non-cultivated, having access to a system of defense or not having access, they do not incur the same risk face to the death penalty. I used to visit prisons. I met with some people in the death row. They are isolated and put it in separate cells. Their conditions are very bad. And, they are, and, and they, I think they are dying every day. Abolir la peine de mort, c'est en effet une décision politique. Et comme toute décision politique, il euh, y a un avant et, a, et un après, il y a un courage. Et euh, s'appuyer sur une opinion publique euh, volatile, mal informée, et qui en général a d'autres soucis, c'est un prétexte. L'opinion n'a pas toujours été favorable à, certaines, à la prise de certaines décisions qui ont été prises. Je pense notamment à la pratique de l'excision. Les autorités aujourd'hui l'ont criminalisée de telle sorte que les personnes qui se rendent auteurs ou complices de faits d'excision peuvent être condamnées devant les juridictions pénales de notre pays. On n'a pas attendu d'avoir une révolution dans les mentalités des populations pour faire ce pas. Alors pourquoi ne pas le faire pour la peine de mort personnes qui ont été condamnées pour vol. Peu après l'exécution de ces personnes-là, les curieux qui étaient venus observer cette application de la peine de mort et qui avaient laissé leur bicyclette derrière eux, en revenant de cette exécution, ont constaté que leur bicyclette a été volée. Comme pour dire, le fait d'avoir appliqué la peine de mort pour les voleurs n'a pas dissuadé les autres voleurs à continuer à opérer des vols. The death penalty is irreversible. Once you've already put someone to death, if later on it turns out there was a mistake, you cannot reverse that, it's done. And there are less severe ways of achieving the same result. So there is, it is really unnecessary. While it is retributive and it makes people maybe feel like they have managed to get revenge, it does not really add any value to justice and jurisprudence. We must remember that um, while we do have systems to punish and sanction certain uh, behavior, criminal behavior within our societies, we must also not design things that would sense to now diminish the human dignity of a person. Our societies must be, be above that at all times and we must always remember that as we sanction and punish, we also still, still seek to preserve that essence of our humanity. When I look at the future of the fight for human rights, and in particular in this case about the death penalty, I think it can only be brighter. We've come a long way, it's been tough. More and more people know about human rights within the decision-making bodies, parliament, legislature, executive, at a local level, and regionally you have got all these human rights bodies coming up, the Commission, African Court, and it is the language of human rights. And I think people will get there. All we need to do is not to get complacent. We take it like building blocks, a block at a time, and we make sure that each block we put in place is strong enough so that we don't end up taking a step forward and three steps back. Mm -hmm.